So we've reviewed a couple of YouTubers' Nuzlocks on this channel already. You know, a few. And we've actually reviewed this YouTuber RT game as well. But he's done a new Nuzlocke of Pokemon Black, and he's caught a little bit of flack for something that happened in this Nuzlocke. So I, as the Nuzlocke authority here on YouTube, am going to take a look at it and see how I feel about this Nuzlocke. And how we did in general on his second ever Nuzlocke. Hi there. Your name is Failure. Yeah, that's what my mom and dad call me. This, this game True. is straight to the point. Snivy, Tepig, Oshawa. Gen 5? Interesting choice here. I think Gen 5 is a little bit different from other generations. And usually my advice is fire types are rare and water types are pretty common. So go with the fire type because you'll have good water types eventually. But Pokemon Black and White 1 is a pretty big exception here because there is actually not that many good water types that you get throughout the game. So I would recommend going with Oshawott for that. Tepig is pretty damn good too, especially early game. Snivy is simply doing his best. You, no one True. chooses Snivy. Yep. Tepig there's a lot of better fire types in this region and generation. This guy might win by default. The I don't see how that's unfortunate. Oshawott is a f amazing Pokemon. Look at him. 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 Come on. Look at him. He's so great. I love that entire line. It's my favorite starter line. Just design-wise. We're not allowed to use items in battle. Nice. Shout out to uh, Pokemon Challenges. Oh, uh, wait. How's that's it me. Going? <laughs> uh, we're going to take going? on board... His advice since the last Nuzlocke. I'm so okay. excited to see where this Let's goes. Yeah, whenever you encounter this guy, it's just like, no, he's a bit shit. He is he? a bit uh, shit. The thing is, we have to catch him, though, to get the dupes claws in effect. Otherwise, Ooh. if we encounter him again... That's actually very smart of him. This is what we call encounter routing, where catching Pokemon to eliminate them for dupes later on is, like, really important. Honestly, no, but we probably want to take this. Pretty important for the first gym, actually, so that you have the better type matchup. I mean, that's exactly why it's in the game, right? I've only got one berry left. Shit, yeah, I, I need them for the gym leader. <laughs> that's a rough Saving start. Your berries for uh, the gym we leader gotta, We gotta grind to get this monkey more powerful. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's not playing with rare candies. Maybe this is maybe for the next Nuzlocke. This is the next step that we can go, RT. Take the candy pill, okay? I think the fact that you're not using rare candies is unfortunately gonna make this review a little bit not great because there's gonna be points where you're gonna be underleveled. So my reaction is just always gonna be, oh, if he was if he was grinding more, if he was playing with rare candies, then uh, this wouldn't have happened. This actually could be quite tough. If the monkey sets up, we may lose. I think Get you're gonna be mistake. fine. This part's easy. This damn monkey. Oh, that's one work up. This is so bad. Oh Two work my ups. God. Oh, this is getting really scary. Three. Oh, that does fucking He's nothing. Plus three. Oh, never mind. Pants oh, thank God. Okay. I forgot. The yeah. monkeys are awful yeah, Pokemon. You're fine. you're fine. Of course. Damn, that went ultra smooth. But you know what else is ultra smooth? The ultra smooth package from the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. You have my personal favorite product of theirs, the Lawnmower 4.0. I love this thing. Super skin safe. I've been using this for over a year now. Um, I've never hurt myself ever with it. Shaving my balls. Just pops on. It's completely waterproof. There's a little LED light. That's my favorite feature, so you can always see what's going on. It travel locks, so if you tap this three times, boom, it's now travel locked, and now it's not gonna accidentally turn on and make TSA think that you have something weird in your bag. Hit it three times again, and it works. The Ultra Smooth package comes with a three-step shaving system to help you get as smooth as possible down there. Step one, you use the Crop Exfoliator in the shower. It's just a gentle liquid scrub that you use to exfoliate. Then you use the Crop Gel to prepare for a shave. And then you get close and comfortable with the Crop Shaver as well. It makes you completely 100% smooth down there. If that's the look you're going for, the Ultra Smooth package is exactly what you need. Head down to the description and use my code or my link to get 20% off your Ultra Smooth package. Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. Oh, it's an Arduino. Okay. Arduino's Arduino is really good. really good. Noteworthy is that it's a shaking grass encounter on every route in the game. So if you want to choose where to encounter it, you should probably choose a route where you think you either only have dupes, that would be optimal, or where you think the encounters just aren't that good. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be there Drillber, go. isn't it? Yeah, Excadrill is one of the most insane Pokemon in this game. It is the main Pokemon that speedrunners use for this game, and that's for a reason. It's just so powerful. It evolves really early, too. Um, I'm pretty sure you can have this for Gym 3, right? Or Gym 4, I should say. Okay, actual scary fight here. It's just yeah. the Watchog. This fight is really scary. The Retaliate from the Watchog is so scary. The Herdier is fine, you can deal with it, usually. Nice crit. Okay, he did uh, 24. So, you all watching know that this bungle is, that this tranquil is in crit range. That's right. Put roost here. I feel, uh, she's gonna use a potion, isn't she? I think so. 
Yeah. Yeah, just use an air cutter. That's a decent roost. That is the potion gone though on this. Which mm, is yeah, I would have roosted good. for sure. To get you out of crit range, because now, yeah, because now you're just in a situation where you're attacking in crit range, and now you're just gonna lose it if it crits. Oi. And there we no. go. <laughs> oh, the plan's gone wrong. Uncle, no. Oh, okay. So the problem is, I am an oracle. Okay. Actually, not playing around that crit was correct because you have a level four Pokemon on your team because this is your team, okay? If these were actually leveled, then like playing around the crit would have been correct because you would have had something to switch into, but you have nothing to switch into here. So you had to take that take on. So staying in was actually correct. Timpole, it's your time to shine. Bring out the Timpole, by the way, kind of correct. I think he was afraid of the boost to retaliate uh, hitting his only other leveled Pokemon here, so. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> yeah. I think he was planning to sacrifice there. Shit. We have to just hope that mistake can two shot it. I think you're fine. Uh, hypnosis, hypnosis could have ended your run there. Yeah. Um, and the only advice I have for that is, I guess you could have equipped a Chesto Berry. Um, if there is any at this point, I think maybe not. Oh, Bungle, no. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that I can't say much more to this fight uh, because the only reason that you lost something there is because you didn't grind, right? Victini has the same capture rate as other mythicals would. Okay, so this is, I think, where the controversy comes in. Actually getting Victini is actually going to be very hard. We're talking about catching Victini here, which is an event Pokemon that you can get in black and white. I think Victini is broken at this point in the game, obviously. Um, it's a mythical. But he's really down right now. There's a chance he could just wipe to Berg. So I think the decision to get Victini here is actually pretty interesting in terms of making this run both interesting for him and for his viewers because Victini is really hard to catch. So this is gonna be a hype, like high risk, high reward kind of fight. And I like that kind of stuff. And come on, look at this guy. Victini is just fucking cool. <laughs> like, I can't hate him for using this. We can tank another confusion. I like the lick here for the paralysis. Yes. That's really good. <laughs> good call to Rest. evolve, by the way. Good call. No, Ooh, quick attack! Quick attack! Quick attack! <laughs> Massive. Him losing his um, Sinister there was actually very unlucky because wild Pokemon have random AI, so they just choose a move randomly. So he had a one in four chance for Victini to use Quick Attack there. Really need this thing now. <laughs> yep. This is why I think this is we hype. Are fucked if we don't catch this. This is it. Come on. Final ball. Oh no, he's not gonna even catch it. Oh shit, wait, do we get a second shot? Oh shit, it's still there! Okay, that's... That... Mmm, I don't know if I like that. It's not even your first encounter anymore. If you are gonna go in and say, okay, I'm gonna take my chances and catch a mythical right now, you can't go back for seconds if you fail the first time. The whole, like, the whole reason I liked this was that it's hype to try that. And if you fail, I don't know if you get to try over. But all that being said, it's his run. It's his rules. He should do whatever things would make the run the most fun for him. Because guess what? We do challenge runs because they're fun. This is very iffy. Can't wait for the review on this Nuzlocke. Oh, hi. What's up? Uh, there's going to be some controversy here, I think. A Gotta bit. believe. Come on, because like this, does this feel as good as getting it on the first try? Because like, this makes it so the stakes on the first try weren't even that high. Yes! I'm gonna call this one defeat. But look at how happy he is. Shit. Okay, so interestingly, there he's not even using <laughs> Victini on the bug type gym right now. He just, all he needed was Audino. <laughs> Audino's a pretty good Pokemon, man. Okay, we get a Daramaka. That's pretty good. We have a new friend. Yeah, the Daramaka is pretty insane. Like, the one we probably want is the Plume Fossil. Though. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna get my Whimsicott! I guess he likes Whimsicott oh, a lot. I personally don't think it's that. that good. Um, it's very fast. It doesn't get as much utility as it does later on. It doesn't have the fairy typing or anything. It's just a fast grass type. That's okay. That can have some uses. Not quite yet. Cancel the evolution. Ooh, he's we'll delaying for Earthquake. Rare candy. We have to cancel the evolution one more time. And one more rare candy. Lamity wants oh, to he's learn so good. Earthquake. There we go. And now we can evolve it. Okay. Excadrill acquired. Yep. It, it's an electric type gym. Uh, Excadrill yeah, okay, so we can we, we don't have to watch this electric type gym. gym. RT has been very good so far at identifying the powerhouses of Pokemon and using them. It's very, very good. Like the Excadrill, the Archaeops, the Victini, I guess. Um, I'm excited to see what else he's he's going to go for. There we go. I'm sorry, is Ducklet not the number one cutest Pokemon ever made? There's a lot of cute Pokemon, and I think Ducklet just tops the list. It's just look at his face. Like, 
What else can you say? Okay, welcome to Texas. Oh. Okay, so this is one of the hardest fights of the game, if not maybe the hardest fight in the game. Although the N plus gets this thing is pretty hard too. Dealing with this extra drill is like the number one thing that you need to figure out before you go into this fight. We'll see what his plan is here. Okay, we can just use Giga Drain. Oh, that's unfortunate. Swagger. Okay, we're absolutely gonna have to switch now. Famine wants to learn Tailwind. That's how we're faster than Excadrill. I always think Tailwind is really overrated in Nuzlocke, specifically for single battles, because it, you lose so much tempo setting it up for a turn and then switching for a turn. And I think then you only have one more turn of Tailwind left. Oh my god, there's a plot device! Deus Ex Machina! Oh like shit, it. he's going straight for the Excadrill. Uh oh. So you okay, Tailwind, tailwind. here? Oh, you're confused. Oh, no. So I, I, even I forgot about that at that moment because I talked so long about Tailwind. If he hits himself here, it's like pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. Nice. Come on, Famine. Slash. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So the problem now is because you got crit, you are probably in kill range of Earthquake. So he's using a random move here between Rockside Slash and Earthquake. Uh, that's probably sacking here and then going into your own Excadrill is probably the safest play. She's okay. She's okay. Can my Excadrill live a potential like Earthquake Bulldoze that's going to be used on it here? Don't chance it. Switch into Mistake. Yeah, that would have been disastrous. <laughs> dangerous play. Dangerous play. I don't think he has Rock Slide. He has it, right? Yeah. Pivot switch. I really like the idea of the pivot here. It's a little bit unfortunate that apparently Oshawott was either dead to Rock Slide or AI was doing something weird there. Extremely good decision to go to Archon there to to switch Archon into the ground move there and then beat the Rock Slide for Excadrill to switch in. No! That's just unfortunate. Damn you, Clay! Ah, oh, damn it, we lost a potential very strong Pokemon. He's got a Palpatoad left. Yeah, we're good. Uh, you did your best, little uh, Aphidy. But just get Samurai. How much XP have we got a mistake? Yeah, we might as well. It's just... Don't have to worry about it. Could also just grind, there but yeah, go. sure. Why not? Not the suboptimal item usage. <laughs> Feel a lot safer. Yo, credit where it's due for Oshawa. He is very reliable as far as this run has been concerned. Yeah, it's yeah, a good water type. destroy you in his review for that rare, rare candy usage. Wait, why would I? The only rare candy usage that I'm destroying you for is the fact that you don't have 999 of them in your bag at the start of the game. The Victini business, that's all okay. That one rare candy in Charge Stone Cave. Like, RT should know better. I lost to this guy in the Pokemon tournament? True! Why are they all... Oh, why does he have to dig that deep into me, man? Come on! Careful! I mean, we still have to use it. We still have to use it. I'm gonna kind of... Um, Joltik is... Uh, Galvantula is really good, by the way. It's a fantastic Pokemon in this game. I'm pretty sure Galvantula can sweep, right? Yep. Perfect. Absolute slaughter. Okay. So we're mostly just here for Axew, and we gotta get a Dusk Stone in here, too. Okay, Axew. Axew. Uh, disappoint. Wait a minute, the Guidance Chamber? Yep, it's two encounters. Is that a separate one? Yes. It's Baldur and Axew only, but we have Baldur and Dupes classes in effect. Nice. I was Guaranteed Axew. Axew! Yep, very good at, like I said, very good at identifying the powerful Pokemon in this run. Encounters, and he's gonna enjoy retirement. He's kind of thick, not too. Not let him die. Thank you for your service. What? Look how much we actually have that we can print. Ooh, I like the Chandelure, too. He's not been using Victini at all, huh? <laughs> I, I guess there's not a lot of fights where it's even that good. I didn't even think about that. Like, apart from Berg, when are you excited about using Victini? It's not even that good in the Elite Four, I think. I guess for Marshall, kind of. But Psychic is, like, not that great of a timing to bring in that. If you're ready to face a gym leader, All right, let's see Bryson. Bring it. Oh, this is going to be a we sweep, huh? Save the good move. He's not even using Got Victini him. here. What's going on? Okay, can I talk about this fucking Pokemon for a second? Disclaimer, I have all the respect in the world for goth girls, okay? I love goth girls. If you're a goth girl, please don't take offense to this and also slide into my Instagram DMs. But this Pokemon is awful. This Pokemon is absolutely awful, okay? The idea of making a goth Pokemon for the NA region, you know what? I can respect the idea. But do we not all agree that the execution is absolutely god-awful? And why did this Pokemon line then also need an awkward oh. middle evolution? Just make one off- like, if you're gonna make a one-off wild concept of a Pokemon, make it a single stage. Don't make it take up three spaces in the Pokedex. Why does this have a middle evolution? The Pokemon is awful, it's not fun to use. It's got Shadow Tag, which is like one of the most unfun abilities as its hidden ability. 
And if it doesn't have its hidden ability, it's completely useless, outclassed by every other psychic type ever created. It's so goddamn ugly. Just look at this. This could have been cool. We could have had Goth Gardevoir. Imagine that, okay? And what we got was this. Do I have to say anything else? This is literally my least favorite Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, good God, that did a pitiful amount of damage. I was damage. expecting that to do more. Oh, no. Was he, what move was he using there? Was it a normal type move? So you have a free switch to channel or, and now you can no longer guarantee that slam because not only are you on low HP and he's using a random move to kill you, you're also putting him to overgrow. So I think using that second signal beam there is just a straight up blunder. It 100% the correct play was to switch to channel over there, even if you're poisoned. I guess he still has Haxorus, huh? I didn't realize. Yeah, okay. Actually, with Haxorus, he should be fine no matter what. But this is still really dangerous. And I, I, it was it was definitely avoidable. Stab. We had Stab. It was super effective. Tailwind is our best bet. Mm -hmm. And we have to hope Famine lives. Oh, Tailwind into Haxorus? I think that's smart. She's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's no longer an overgrow. Oh, but he lives. Jesus an overgrow Christ. again. But yeah, you're fine. You don't take that much damage. You're Haxorus okay, and you're level 49. Okay. Sharon still has a Simapore, and his answer to that was Whimsicott, which is now weakened. Oh no, the fucking monkey! It's really interesting how in this fight you can see how the mistakes kind of snowball. Okay, go into Mistake, and we can use Megahorn. Yeah. Don't burn. Oh yeah, this is God, so this rough. This is getting worse. What moves does he have <laughs> right, here? Let's get some damage on it. Oh, that does fucking nothing. This is really bad. I love fucking nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. British people, am I right? I'm kidding. I know he's Irish. I'm sorry. I think we have to make the call to sack something. Yeah, probably at this point. This looks really grim, actually. Holy shit. Something's gotta go. We don't full stop, says one guy in chat. Okay, you wanna chance it? Because this risks two Pokemon's lives. Here we go. <laughs> Is he hoping for a random move here? This has really good. I think it has like Fury Swept. There we like, go! <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't live this. No way. 145. <laughs> okay. The question. And now Famine has to die as well. Is Whimsicott faster? Wait a minute. Famine's faster. I definitely wouldn't have sacked the extra drill there. It's pretty useful for the Elite Four. It's a steel type. It's fast. It's got stab earthquake. It's fucking crazy. Um, I would sack Samurott for sure. It's it's not that good. Famine's okay. Did amazing calamity. Okay, we still have the rest of the team. Okay, it's time. Does he have Pokerus? Okay, that's pretty cool. No, oh, I just had a terrible idea. What is it? If I go in the Victory Road and encounter a Dust Cloud, can I just capture a new Excadrill? No. Because Doobs gives you the option to not well, capture the same. It, you are allowed to capture the same and use that as your encounter if you so choose. You're on your rules. If you think that's fun, you should do it. Personally, I think, when I think about building rules for these runs, I try to extrapolate that to what kind of play that would lead to. If Doobs Claws is optional, there is a lot of Pokemon games where you can encounter Magikarps on most routes. Gyarados is a really good Nuzlocke Pokemon, and we're basically imagining a scenario here where in those games that have a lot of Magikarps, if you so choose to, you can always, and it's usually the correct play, run around with two Gyarados in your party for double intimidate and shit like that. I don't think that's very fun, so I don't play with that clause. I think it's way more interesting if Dupe's clause is forced. For me personally, but if he has more fun doing it this way, he should be doing it this way. <laughs> Just get a new one. Yeah, here we are. He's actually gonna there do it. Go. What a giga Chad. There we go. We got Excadrill back. Chantal's lead has Will O' Wisp. Use a Rostberry. Oh, thank you for that information. That's actually quite significant. That's pretty I'm useful. Yeah. Go Is he gonna set up with Haxorus? I think you. There we go. Right? Round one. Scary Ghost type. It's actually gonna be handy here because we're gonna be able to sack our ability on this thing. Okay, so Dragon Dance. We set up. Thank God for that berry mention. And now we get to sack our ability, which is actually kind of good. Oh, he has rivalry. That sucks. That and we should be able to just one-shot it. Look at this. Oh. We're, we're towards the end. 
The best switch is probably into Fear. I think Fear can live one hit no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I think you're fine here. He actually did bring Sammy Rot. I would have really liked... I'm not sure what his box is. I really like Dark Types for the Gen 5 Elite 4. I think they're really useful for both pivoting and just, like, dealing with Chantal and with Caitlyn. I would have liked to see him drop either a Sammy Rot or Whimsicott. Probably Whimsicott for a Dark Type here. I don't know if Krugadal is still in the box. Um, I, I don't know what other Dark Types he got throughout the run, but something like that. Okay, easy. There we go. Ah, that's a crit. Okay, that's a handy crit. Here we go. One Dragon Dance, please. This is a little Don't bit more dangerous to set up on Scraft. He does a lot of damage. Oh, the defense drop is but huge still kill there. Her. But I think you're at plus one plus one. Do you sweep here? I think so. With Brick Break? Wow, really? Oh, oh rivalry! No. Dude, that ability sucks so much! Oh my god, this Haxorus. He was in crit range there too. Okay. That was a roll apparently too. Going to yeah. mistake, we can tank at least one hit. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Uncomfortable amount of damage. Surf. You're in crit range. Come on, you can live it. I think I would like to see Whimsicott there. You just resist the earthquake, right? Oh! Okay, let's crocodile down. Oh no. Don't crit. This has a high crit rate. You're fine. Exodrill is so good here. Okay, good choice to pick up a second one. Doing great, Calamitu. I think I take the fake out. I mean, you do, but <laughs> it doesn't really achieve anything, right? Because you gotta switch anyway, so you might as well switch on the fake out instead of on the night slash. Night slash. Generally, if you know a Pokemon is fake out, always consider switching. It's like really good. Jesus! Signal beam will guarantee kill. Come on. There we go. We're faster. Was well, that a bug gem? Nice. I like it. Gems are really, really powerful, by the way. If you just want to sweep through every Gen Five Nuzlocke, just goes like, all right. Six grind for gems for like six hours. Glyph is the real problem. This one. It's fun, it's hard. Situation for I don't think you can set up on the Reuniclus because it does so much yeah, damage. This is, an X okay. uh, this is why I really wanted to see him use a Dark type because you can really fuck with them here um, by switching through like the immunities, baiting moves, and stuff like that. Um, a Dark type would be really useful here. Okay, bulky psychic types. The battle. Nice. Yeah, if we can kill Reuniclus in one go, we're good. Huge. I don't think this will die. This is a little bit more bulky than Reuniclus, right? Oh. You okay. should be fine. I think that's crit range, though. Ooh, I like the idea of doing chain right. here, but like, imagine, imagine like a dark type here. It's Christ, Masharna. It's psychic. You should resist. It's fine. This is what right. your calm nature comes in for. Uncomfy True. amount of damage. Did that kill? Oh no. god. Okay. How no much shot. did that do? Oh, I have a water jam, aqua jet for this scenario. Okay. Really? That's not gonna kill, right? Oh, well, maybe gems are so strong. I'm not sure. Okay. A mistake. I can't yeah. switch on this one because I think it might have Shadow Trap. It doesn't. So I gotta use Megahorn. That's hidden. I gotta lead. hopefully kill it. <laughs> Calm mind. Please switching land. on the Calm mind would have been kind of bad too. He doesn't really have any other options to take this down effectively. Doesn't this? Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say this has Thunderbolt, right? Oh. oh! I really don't like Sammy Rot for this Elite Four. Oh! <laughs> so fucking close. Oh, he has this, I guess. Oh, wait, this actually... Yeah, this is... We resist that. Yeah, switching into that before the Thunderbolt came in, I guess, was the correct play, but I guess he didn't know about Thunderbolt, so... This should kill even through Calm Mind. Yeah, easy. That was a fucking close call. <laughs> I think Strength. this fight is pretty easy. Kia. Kiai. Kiai? What's he saying? Battle Cry. Kia. Still a dragon Dance. Kia. Oh, that rivalry's gonna hurt me. Yeah, I don't actually like this setup here that much. Um, I think you should be able to outmaneuver these pretty good. I would really like to see him use the combination of Excadrill and Chandelure here, switching between those two to bait different moves and stuff like that, and like get himself into a better position. I think is key for this fight. Bulldoze is actually not that bad. The speed doesn't really factor into this fight. This is definitely oh, crit range. Oh, that's really good. Oof. I I don't know if I like that. Hexor is so good for the next fights. Risking it Come there's. On, strife. Little dangerous. I would like like extra drill into Chandelure switch there, I think, or something like that. Oh, come on, Strife! Although I guess what do you do from there? Because Chandler also kind of dies to Stone Edge, right? I think he definitely could have done better in team building for this. I think both Whimsicott and Samurai okay, can win. Get out of there! It's probably the best option to go Samurai out there. Yep. Hammer. It's kind of unlucky that he went for his most powerful move if there. If I switch in Famine, I think I just prolonged the fight. I think we have to sacrifice Mistake and get the Water Gem Surf. Because that at least puts us in this position where we can then win. We it's don't a have a really choice, good call. Because anything else we send out is... is... But I think going for the Water Gem Surfy is just correct. I think it's a really, really good call to go for that. That's like the best, I think, play that I've seen from him. 
It's really good win this. Oh, nice. That actually almost killed too. Oh, oh man. That sucks. It's been an honor. I have to go for Thunder because he might full restore here as well. He didn't. Why didn't he? Yeah, he didn't. If Whimsicott is faster, then we can Volt Switch Giga Drink. And that's probably our best bet. Get him, Whimsy. Nice Volt Switch play. It's gonna hurt. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that fight was hard. Giga Drain! <sighs> I'm not sure what he could have brought. Maybe maybe it was Gotharita after all. Level 50 Reshiram. Get him, shit face. Does he bring the pat rat? <laughs> oh, Pokeball! Wait, why? That's so fucking chad. That's pretty straightforward. To bring the pat rat. I don't need a rush ram. I've nice. got everything I need. Here we go. Get him, shit face. I love this. <laughs> just gonna die, right? Okay, he's just choosing <laughs> to do this two ba these back to back battles, five v twelve. I respect it so much. Right. Like, if you roasted him for his Victini and his Excadrill stuff, all of that should immediately be gone because he did this fight 5v6. He's absolved from anything. Not that he needs to be absolved for anything. Okay, let's see the team. So he brought, like, basically the same team. I guess he just didn't want to replace Samurott. So, so I think something interesting is about to happen here. More. I've seen this situation no, before. No yeah. So this Kling Klang, that is Zoroark. The reason you can tell this it's not the level, they're the same level. This is really advanced stuff, so I do absolutely not fault RT for not getting this. The Zoroark has Focus Blast, and the way that the Gen 5 Switch in AI works is that it just chooses the move with the most power, calculating in type differences, so uh, Focus Blast is double to 240, and no other Pokemon has a move more powerful against extra drill than that. Um, I'm not gonna fault him for that. This is super, this is pretty advanced stuff, knowing how the Switch in AI works. For this specific end fight in your Nuzlocke, this is something this is something to keep in mind, is if you see a Kling Clang, and you have a Pokemon out that's weak to Flamethrower, or Focus Blast, or Night Slash, it's probably a Zorg. Kling Clang second. Yep. Oh, no! I don't believe it. That's a Zorak. Yep. Now he sees it. Actually, yeah, I think the correct play was if you see that, then you just immediately switch the uh, Galvantula and on the Focus Blast. Although this has Flamethrower. Oh, he's actually fucked. <laughs> what is he, what is he going to do? Holy that didn't even shit, two shot. Did nice confusion. Huge. Okay, this might keep us alive. This thing has Flamethrower. Oof. Come on, fear. Go for the thunder. Is that more damage? It's not, right? Is he playing for the paralysis chance? Oh! Actually gets it. That might have won him the fight. Come on! Going for the thunder might have just won him the fight. Crazy call. What? That was so good. It's a fucking slaughter. He played to his out so well there. Set up with Haxorus. This is probably the best opportunity we're going to have. Oh, super good call there. He's playing so well. I'm actually really impressed. Like, you don't need to actually sweep here, right? You're not going to sweep because Vanilux is going to come okay, out. Just but... time for one. It's going to really hurt us otherwise. Vanillux. Oh, good God, the rivalry. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was going to say, a plus one, plus one, you can maybe kill this, but not with rivalry. It's too dangerous. Fire yeah. Blast, come on. You got to rely on Fire Blast here. It's fine, you're, though. You're doing amazing. And now it's just Caracosta. Actually, the team, honestly, the team he brought is pretty fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is going to be on, really Wednesday. rough. Giga drain it off. I don't think I at all agree with the Tailwind there. You only get... Does he even get any benefit from it? He's definitely not... Yeah, because it has Sturdy, too. He's not going to get any benefit. What does he got as fast as this no matter what? He just wasted a turn. Oh, we're gonna He's be way too set on that. The next one. No! Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I think going for the Tailwind there might have lost him potentially the fight. Yes. That's really lucky. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, actually, for the Archaeops, um, yeah, it's probably a good call to Dragon Dance there. If he does dodge that Stone Edge, whew, I guess he's going to hit Archaeops and defeat us, so he'll be fine. Yeah, no, good call on the Dragon Dance, actually. Good play. Yeah, we should be fine now. If he gets hit by that Stone Edge, he's still fine, I think, right? Yeah, unless he gets crit. Thanks, Rocky. And I like the Rocky yeah. Helmet there. Um, there's definitely better items, but... Okay. Clang is the last one. Brick break for the kill. Yeah, this is fine. I also forgot that the Kling Kling is still in the party. I somehow like called it being over after the Vanalox and there was three Pokemon Jesus. left, but yeah. Okay, so he's down to two Pokemon, I think, right? Um, He's leading with a Pokemon that's dead, so let's see how he clauses that. These Pokemon are technically dead. So what we're gonna do to get the fair switch in, I'm simply gonna spam Pokeballs and then I'm gonna try and beat Getsus with two Pokemon. Super fair. The Toxic is the problem. 
If we set up now, we eventually die just by course of the battle. And we need uh, we need a setup Dragon Dance for Hydreigon specifically. Yeah, I think I would have liked to see a Petra Berry here. Dragon Dance into Shadow Claw should kill, I think. You get mummied, and then you can go from there. You should bait out Hydreigon first, because it sees the super effect of Dragon Pulse. Get a free kill from that. This is this gonna kill? I think so. This has a lot of special attack. This yeah. showed one shot at least. Come on. Nice. Super lucky. Well, it's, it's it would be unlucky not to hit it. But if he doesn't hit that, I think he just it's probably wipes, gonna right? kill us. Wow, this is actually super yeah, intense. Go for it now. He's literally down to these two Pokemon. He needed to hit that Willow Wisp to have any chance of winning. This is crazy, actually. This is like one of the most intense champion fight we've ever reviewed. I think he wins. It's dangerous. I think he just sets up on this and wins. I think. He might not be able to get through Seismitoad. It's really bulky. He needs like plus three, I think. I don't know if he can. Head charge does a lot of damage. Dragon Dance. Head charge. This is the one I'm scared of. Okay, 126. Whoa, that's a lot. You gotta, I think you gotta go for plus two, Holy right? Because your rivalry. I think I get a second Dragon Dance. Good I call. Hope use Earthquake. Come on. Yeah, you can't play around the crit there. Head charge can miss too. Don't crit. Nice. He's playing this Haxorus masterfully. Really, really good. Exactly knowing when the Dragon Dance timings are. I'm really impressed with that. You ready to see the riskiest sweep of your lives? I talk about like setup moves being boring and all that a lot, but there is a lot of skill to using them correctly, and he's doing it. That's Buffalon. Oh my god, thank god we did that when we did it. Yep. This is why the Haxorus sweep is so good, because it baits out the Hydreigon early. Okay. Hydreigon, that's the here. hardest one. Says me Toad, we gotta do as much damage as we possibly can. How did he just pronounce that? Pokemon's name <laughs> says Mio Toad. <laughs> British people. Come on, rivalry's gonna kick in. Oh. It's not gonna kill right with rivalry. Oh, it's so close. No! I uh, actually, oh man, it's just Chandelure versus this Bisharp and Electros. I think he just loses, right? Kill. He needs to like hit like three fire blasts in a row here. I think. I need to land a fire blast. Is that really what this comes down to? That's insane. I'm just looking at the move set. I didn't realize this has crunch. Yeah, he has to he has to hit a will o wisp first. <laughs> Jesus. Interesting. Oh, wh why did he go acrobatics there? That's really weird from the AI. But I, I, I mean, now he's fine. Unless that happens. I think you're still okay. I would probably shadow ball here. Fire blast. I think double Shadow Ball is safer, I think. Yeah. Oh, we pulled it off. Well, maybe. But honestly, all of my calculations of probability here probably ruined how intense this ending was. <laughs> very sorry about that, RT. I just get into the weeds there. Very, very, very intense battle. Um, amazing stuff. I got really down to the wire there. Congratulations. I am extremely impressed with how well RT Jesus. did. That was Jesus super, super fun. Christ. That was a very, very technical a fun fight at the end. That yeah, that was the RT game. And I was like, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that was great. You improved so much, RT. Shout out to you. Uh, link to this channel is down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.